Men, their rights and nothing more. Woman, their rights and nothing less. Susan B. Anthony was a women's rights activist who grew up in Massachusetts and moved to New York in the 1840s. Anthony would stand up for what she believed in, like ending slavery and temperance, but known mostly for her contributions to women's suffrage. Susan B. Anthony took a stand advocating for women, including the right to vote. Her campaigning and collaboration with other powerful female leaders for women's suffrage and equality eventually earned women the right to vote in 1920 with the ratification of the 19th Amendment. In the early 1800s, women were not treated as fairly as men. Women were expected to take interest in housework and family rather than get an education or career. This meant women could not own property after marriage, keep their own wages, sign contracts, or even vote in elections. People thought that women were considered naturally weaker than men, squeamish, and unable to perform work requiring muscular or intellectual development. Some women and children would work up to 12 hours a day, but when laws were passed that kept women from doing too much labor, the laws also kept women from obtaining certain jobs. For example, in the early 1900s, laws were made that kept women from working overnight or for more than eight hours a day, preventing women from obtaining some jobs. The only jobs offered to women at the time were cooking, sewing, teaching, or factory work. If a woman were to take on a non-domestic job, she was considered unfit for being a wife or mother. In the 1850s, Anthony went to a temperance convention where she was denied a chance to speak because she was a woman. This inspired her to fight for women's rights when she realized no female would be taken seriously in politics until women had the right to vote. Anthony and Elizabeth Cady Stanton worked together to establish the American Equal Rights Association in 1868, along with the National Women's Suffrage Association in 1869. Anthony was also the owner and business manager of her own feminist newspaper called The Revolution, while Stanton was also one of her co-editors. Their first publication was on January 8, 1868, and continued to publish weekly until 1872. On November 5, 1872, Anthony illegally voted in a presidential election and was arrested two weeks later with 14 other female suffragists. She refused to pay the $100 fine and said, I shall never pay a dollar of your unjust penalty. Her trial brought the attention to the issue of women's suffrage. Anthony continued to give speeches and fight tirelessly for women's suffrage until her death in 1906. Of her many speeches, she gave her last on her 86th birthday, called Failure is Impossible. There were many men and women who opposed women's suffrage. Some people didn't think women needed the vote because they were already represented by their husbands. Women don't want the vote, and women do not fight to defend their country. People were also afraid of what the impact of giving women the vote would be and didn't see why they should change a system that already works. Many other women and some men did support Susan B. Anthony though. In 1877, Anthony got 10,000 signatures for a petition for women's voting rights from several states. However, Congress still didn't consider it and laughed in Anthony's face. Eventually, more feminists joined Anthony in her campaign for women's rights until women crowded the streets with signs. In 1860, women gained the right to guardian children, divorce an abusive husband, and sign contracts, also known as the Married Woman's Property Act. Some states, like Wyoming, Colorado, Utah, and Idaho, had granted women suffrage before the 1900s. After Anthony's death in 1906, several more states gave women voting rights. Passed by Congress June 4, 1919, and ratified on August 18, 1920, 
The 19th Amendment granted women the right to vote. Also known as the Susan B. Anthony Amendment, women everywhere in America over the age of 21 were now allowed the right to vote on a ballot. Unfortunately, this was 14 years after Anthony's death, and she never got to see the outcome of her hard work. Anthony's efforts and contributions to women's suffrage show that hard work can help you accomplish anything. Although she was shot down multiple times, she never gave up fighting for what she believed was right. Anthony is a powerful role model for girls all over the world, showing them that their gender doesn't define what they can and can't do. Susan B. Anthony took a stand for women's rights and due to her hard work and collaboration with other female suffragists, the 19th Amendment was put into action in 1920 giving women the right to vote. Today, every woman in America is allowed to vote because of Susan B. Anthony. Women now have many more rights than they did in the 1800s to 1900s as well, due to the Married Woman's Property Act in 1860. Anthony did not go unrecognized, of course. If you ever get the chance to see a dollar coin, you'll notice Anthony's face printed on one side of the coin. Anthony also has a grave located at Mount Hope Cemetery in Rochester, New York, where American flags and flowers are often placed. During Election Day, hundreds of women placed their I Voted stickers on her grave as a tribute to Anthony. Susan B. Anthony will forever be a well-known figure in history for her efforts and determination. As Anthony once said, failure is impossible.